After six local law enforcement agencies were called in to find and arrest a suspect who was avoiding police by floating down the Kansas River. 49 News crime and safety reporter Sayed Shabir has exclusive video of how the chase finally came to an end and he joins us now live from where it all began. Sayed. Ben Marchana, we are standing here on the edge of the Kansas River on the south side, and it was right here where this whole chase began. And it happened at 9 o'clock this morning when police received a call of uh, some copper being burned in the area. And if actually, if you look down here on the ground, you can see some remains of that copper burning. Now, when police showed up, they in fact saw two suspects burning copper, and they were able to apprehend one. The other actually fled from police. He ran right along here and jumped into the Kansas River and began what would become a three-hour manhunt. It was all hands on deck Wednesday morning for a massive manhunt along the Kansas River near the Shawnee and Douglas County border. Fan boats, helicopters, speedboats, and nearly 20 officers from six different agencies were on the scene. It all started at the intersection of Northeast Seward Avenue and Goodall Road, where a suspect jumped into the river and began floating down the river to avoid police. Authorities say the man was struggling to stay above water because the river's strong current. So they called in a rescue team from the Shawnee Heights Fire District. As soon as somebody does that with the, uh, the dangers of the Kansas River, uh, it quickly turned into a rescue. Um, I'm not so sure that he wanted to be caught, but our first and foremost uh, inclination was to provide safety to him, and that's what we did. Officers say the suspect continued to jump in and out of the river heading east, so a helicopter from the Kansas Highway Patrol was called to keep a watch over the suspect. Three hours later, officers found 34-year-old Roy H. Wakabushik hiding in the mud on a sandbar in the middle of the river, more than two and a half miles from where he initially jumped in. At the point that he was apprehended, there, there was no fight. Um, I'm sure he was pretty wore out from the, from the entire incident, and uh, no, he did not resist at all. The suspect arrested before the chase began was 33-year-old Eric N. Jim. Both Jim and Wakabushik are being held in the Shawnee County Jail and face charges of arson, obstruction of legal process, and outstanding criminal warrants. Back live here on the riverfront. Now, this chase was, in a way, very much a rescue, and it took a collaboration between several law enforcement agencies to perform. Now, we actually saw in the video there, you saw the helicopter, we had the speedboat, even a fan boat from the Kansas Wildlife Department, all coming together to make sure that this ended safely. And we are fortunate to report that no serious injuries were reported at this time. We're live tonight along the Kansas River. Sayed Shabir, KTKA 49 ABC News.